What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmiles World. Right now we have to get right into it. You guys are not going to have a lot of time if you're watching this. I know the video is a little bit late, but I had a lot of stuff going on today, but I got to make sure that you guys know what's going on as far as the secret egg location so you guys can never say I let you guys down. You know, family's around, everything's going on with the holiday, but I got to make sure I take care of my people. So inside the challenges if you haven't already done it you're going to go over to the division dynasty you're going to go to the nfc what is it the afc north and you're going to go over to shelby harris and that's where you're going to find the egg for march 30th 2024 uh, after you do that good luck with this one because i'm not sure if they drop one on the day of easter they probably will not so the only way you're going to be able to pull a limited right now is if you've done that and you got one or inside of the field pass which i'm going to show you guys right now then i'm going to show you all the eggs and then we're going to break down the Aaron Rodgers, oh, but I say Aaron Rodgers, the Aaron Donald. Uh, I know it's one of the AA rods, all right? So inside of the actual field pass, for those of you guys that have been focusing in on the Sugar Rush, this is the only other way that people have been reporting that they were able to pull a limited, all right? This is the last basket, other than the one that's in the store, which I am completely against, especially for the fact that we know who all the cards are now. Brian, Br Brian Branch, it's Musgrave the tight end, which is, I guess, the matchup nightmare from the Packers. You got Harold Carmichael, and then you got Teddy Hendricks. All right, so those are the four. So we're going to talk about that as well to kind of gear you guys up for it. But let me just show you guys what's going on in the store real quick, because I want to make sure everybody understands. This tribute pack, this is a double-edged sword. I've gotten uh, you know good reports. I've gotten really bad reports. If you want to gamble with it, I can't tell you not to. All right. But what I am going to tell you is more than likely there will be packs available during Easter that will probably help you to get any of the cards, even if you did not get a limited egg. All right. So even if you didn't get one, it's fine. If you wanted to spend the money, because I got so many people asking, yo, gee, I know it's last minute, but should I get the tribute pack? I got to be honest. EA Sports is on one. OK, it's easy. It's very, very easy that you can get all 93s, dog. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, everybody's been there, dude. When you walk away, you're like, yo. I feel like I got violated. Yeah, because you logged in. You know what I'm saying? I would not do this, but if it's something that you feel that you want to, you know, try to get that Aaron Donald, it's fine. Go for it. It's all good, all right? Now, this version of Aaron Donald, I would not recommend, and I'm going to tell you guys about that in a second, uh, why I don't recommend him. Um, it's a waste of training. If you're, gonna, if you're going to get Aaron Donald, get the limited one. He's very, very cheap based on all the stuff that he gets right now. He's pretty much a golden ticket. So uh, I don't know why people wouldn't just go ahead and just spend the money on him. Unless you don't have it or you got to spend, you know, sell off some cards. His card plays very, very well. I'm going to show you guys what's going on with it. This bundle right here, I will tell you again. Do not buy this bundle. We know who all the four limiteds are, and their price is going to vary. But if you don't have, a, a, you know, a limited egg, you will be able to probably get them for a suitable amount. So I don't want you to spend this money. Now, if they drop something that's glitchy as a pack on Easter Sunday, I will say, okay, you know what? Go for it. And the video will be a lot earlier tomorrow after the stream because my stream wants me to actually stream uh, early Easter. So I will be there for you guys early on. But I'm just letting you guys understand, realistically speaking, okay, I would not get this now and I would just hold the money if you're going to spend and get something tomorrow on Easter Sunday. That's just honestly the way I feel about it. Other than that, all, at this point, everybody watching this video should have enough chocolates or somewhere around it to get a 98. This is the plan, guys. If they don't drop any additional 98s other than the 99s that are in the limiteds, we're gonna go ahead and redeem a 98 to make up, you know, make our coins up real quick, right? We're gonna go ahead and redeem that, and then we'll just gamble everything else off with inside this or this for the limiteds. You know, for what, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to pull them. I, well, actually, I'm not sure, because EA Sports is doing whatever they want, but they are limiteds, so they should be available inside of these packs. You know what I'm saying? If that were the case. So if you have additional chocolates, we'll find out early what EA is up to. Because uh, I know I have a lot of guys that be pulling and trying to tell us what's going on. So we'll know if the limiteds are also in there. So if you didn't get a limited egg, you're going to still have an opportunity to go ahead and get it done. All right? That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about as far as that goes with the limited eggs. Now, as far as what I have, I'm going to show you that right now. We have the Teddy Hendrix. He's confirmed. 99. He has all kind of craziness. We have to see what his abilities are though. His abilities are definitely something that you're gonna wanna take a look at early on. We'll wait uh, and see what's happening with it, but that's gonna be the difference between him and other cards that we have now. Is it a guarantee that he'll make the squad? No, 
Either way, he's going to be up for sale if he's garbage. Like, it's not going to be a big deal. So, again, even if you don't have a limited egg, that's what it is. It's a 99 Teddy Hendrix. I know some of you guys think it's going to be really, really cheap. I'm not sure about the price range because depending on what kind of abilities these guys get and how vast the market is like you know even though a lot of people have pulled these eggs we don't know how it's going to be in the market so you can't predetermine what's going to happen what we can predetermine is that 95s and all those other cards are going to become very very cheap if they aren't already like most of them are like 100k it's going to be very very cheap as people are selling things off to go ahead and get their hands on some of the newer cards. So we already have the Teddy Hendrix. If you have a, a, a Musgrave with the Matchup Nightmare, if you have the Harold Carmichael, um, you know, the Brian Branch. Brian Branch is a stock 99 speed, guys. So for those of you guys are saying, yo, bro, G, you know, he's garbage. No, he's not. And you know, I'm the first to say the card is garbage. But that 99 speed, because it's stock, it's going to mean something in the game. So as long as EA Sports gives him a decent ability stack, we're in there. That's definitely what it is, all right? So that's how we're gonna be able to rock it out and you know figure out what's going on from that point of view. But if you don't have a limited, I would not panic, okay? Because of the fact that everybody knows what's in the eggs now, they're already predetermining what the market's gonna be like. And whatever is set to be, if you have a suitable amount of decent cards on your team right now, it's no reason why you wouldn't be able to afford any of the limited eggs. All right, so that's something that I want you guys to you know be aware of. Now, everything else that's going on as far as like the Ultimate Legends, I got uh, you know I got enough tokens to get a free Ultimate Legend. I'll be getting questions like, "Yo, G, what about Deion Sanders? What's going on?" Um, and then also, I got to remember to talk to you guys about Aaron Donald. But I wanted to touch on this right because a lot of people understand that Deion is always the goat, right? But in this year's Madden, it's not the case, especially with the way that they've done this. He's not what we want him to be. Dion is always a must-have card. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is very disappointing that his price range is the way it is right now. So if you wanted to make 600k, I would say complete the set and just sell them. Do I believe the Ultimate Legends will get better though? See, this is where it gets a little bit interesting because I really do believe that they're gonna give us something that's gonna make sense later on. Now. Again, many of you guys, you know, you're trying to figure out what's going on, like how is it happening, you know, why is EA doing this, why is the Ultimate Legend so garbage this year? It's because they've already given us a promo with all the Bo Jacksons that's made a lot of the cards already obsolete. For instance, no matter what running back they put out, Bo Jackson is still the best, he's going to be the best running back for the rest of the year. With his ability stack, he's the best running back. So the corners, they're going to need those charge-ups. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Those nine-play charge-ups. If the players don't have nine-play charge-ups with the uh, X-Factor stay on all game, they are relatively useless unless you're running things like dollar and things like that where you have players in the slot and it doesn't matter. I run 4-3-6-1, so I'm looking for four corners, uh, well, two corners and two safeties. And that's how it works for me. So it's very, very like hard to look at Dion and know that you want Dion on your squad, but I would probably go ahead and pass that up to just be totally honest with you guys. Um, I don't like the way that, you know, even with him getting the deep out or whatever like that, he's still, it's still like an iffy type of card. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not a stock 99 speed, it's 98. So you got to pick your poison with that. But I wanted to touch base on that. Why? Because I have a lot of the viewers that's been asking, okay, gee, when are we redeeming this ultimate legend pack? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 600K. Like, that's Dion. Like, what's up? And you can see I have enough right here. And I'm going to have enough for a second one in another week or so. So you guys are really concerned. If you want to make 600K, get the Dion now. If you want to wait a little bit and probably, you know, see what happens. If it goes up to 99, you can do that as well. But some of you guys pointed it out. It does say 96 to 98. So more than likely, it's going to stop here. So, if you, like I said, right now, we'll figure it out tomorrow. You know how we want to do it, but it doesn't really matter because Dion is Dion and he has a built-in return man. So we'll be able to get the 600K or whatever for him and we could do it that way either way. So we'll talk about that, you know, very, very soon. Finally, Aaron Donald, okay? Is Aaron Donald a good card? All right. For me, I'm going to give you guys my ability stack for him real quick and I'm going to let you guys go so you guys have a good night. My guys on the West Coast are probably going to enjoy the video a lot more because it's early for you guys. For my guys on the East Coast, if you watch this video, I definitely appreciate it if you watch it on the night it was released. Ability stack. These are, this is the best ability stack for 99 Aaron Donald. Secure tackler, no outsiders, relentless. If you want to go with the X-Factors, okay, he does get momentum shift, okay, it char the charge up is eight plays. So you don't have to use that other card anymore. 
if you wanted to just take away somebody's X Factor. It's real stupid to use four AP for one person, but if that's something that floats your boat, go ahead. It does render the offense, like the way I use uh, Mahomes, it renders you to throw all incomplete passes, unless you have a regular ability. So I just wanted to point that out. If you wanted to do it, it's there. Again, the best ability regular stacks, secure tackler, no outsiders, and relentless. Happy Easter, and I'll see you in the morning. Until next time, one love, y'all.